Okay, so this week we're going to be talking about uh, water filtration. So we have the standard in-house, in-line water filter that came with our grand design and it has been doing great. But since we've relocated to Texas, we've been having an issue with a rotten egg smell. And that rotten egg smell has tested our limits as far as uh, we tried sanitizing, sanitizing the lines, we've changed the thickness of the filter, we've change the filter more often pretty much um everything that we could possibly do we have done so um started doing some research and people have been talking about this uh, a triple water filter system and there are off the shelf systems that you can buy that if you're not a do-it-yourselfer it would be great for you i like to do it yourself for things because since I've moved out of a sticks and bricks and into that into an RV, one of the things I miss the most is being able to tinker around and have projects. So that's what we're doing today. So we started out with um, buying three water filter cages, uh, squ uh, housings. And we went with the uh, Geek Pure 10 inch clear water filter housing. I wanted to be able to see what we were looking at. And this is pretty much sort of what it looks like. So we'll be able to hopefully see the filter if it starts to go bad or when it starts to go bad and we'll know to change it. But one of the other things that I really liked about this, and I want to show you guys this because this was important when I was doing the research, it didn't have the brass, um, the brass insert into this plastic. And I really wanted to have that brass to help make sure that connection's good and not going brass to plastic. I want to be brass to brass. So we bought three of these. So go ahead and pull out our other two. All right. And the concept behind this is what we will do. I actually, I guess I should explain this. Whenever you're putting these together, there's an inside and an outside. So what we would do is we'd go in to out, out to in, and then out to in again so that it all has one correct flow sorry i'm being eaten by mosquitoes one sec okay i'm back so it's kind of strange that we have mosquitoes because since we've been in texas we haven't really had to deal with mosquitoes much but a quick 30 second version of how this is going to work um is to connect these is i have a three quarter to three quarter male or like male to male going into the female side of this and the way this will work and it makes it a lot easier if we don't have one connect one with the bottle on it but we would naturally use pvc uh tape um but we're going to do that put our next one on and then one moment out to in and we're just gonna do a quick rough fit because if you're wanting to do this yourself, you're probably like me and you're wanting to figure it out on your own. But we'll have a system, we'll have a system that ends up looking like this. And I've seen a couple different ways where people have built stands for these things. Um, I'm gonna show you two different ways. Um, the first one is because we want, kinda wanna test it and make sure all of these, once we actually put together, are watertight outside of our rig. We don't wanna just throw it straight in underneath. So I'm going to show you how a way to do that where you just would need an additional length of potable water, uh, potable hose, potable water hose, forgive me. And then after we've done that for a couple of days, I'm going to show you what, how we're going to permanently install this to where uh, inside our basement to where we don't have to deal with it again. But I'm going to pause real quick. I'm actually going to build this uh, real quick the way it's supposed to be built. And then I'll get back to you. Okay, hopefully it's not getting too dark for this, but we had to wait until the sun cooled down because it's still hot. But did want to show you guys this. So if we were to do like a flyover on this, you can see right here where it says in with a little triangle pointing this way. We went in, out, in, out, in, out. Okay, so if we're going to make this to where it just hooks in line, sitting maybe right outside your wet bay on the ground, and you wanted to make this a quick and easy project, I mean, we're 15 minutes in, 
what you can do is you can go to when you go to take when you go to buy all of this take the parts that you didn't get offline if you or if you went to a big box store and then take all this i sort of had it like this took it in and then found the pieces i need and so what this is is this is a three quarter fh by three quarter in fip and all it is really is a three quarter inch adapter to a hose adapter and so literally as simple as putting one on each end assuming it wants to play nice Check. and we'll talk about the cost here in a second because there are like i said there are professional systems but you can put this together relatively for about half the price give or take depending on where you live but so right now we have a complete system all we need to do is load our filters obviously we're going to tighten these down but load our filters and we could just set it on the ground and let it go or if you wanted to build a stand the way it's designed it is it has these four screw holes you could just take a piece of board that's what i'm going to do is take a piece of board you could cut it to where it extends over the edge build some simple legs and you're done you have your filter system quick and easy that's what we're going to do for, for for tonight before we run out of uh sunlight but uh our next adventure is we're actually gonna we'll take these adapters these hose pieces off and we're gonna wire this to where it gets mounted up inside our basement to where it just goes with us and we don't have to worry about it okay so the next thing we're gonna do is they do come with o-rings in the mounting set don't need that just get all these o-rings out I like that it send, they send extra o-rings with this as well. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to take an o-ring, put it on the little o-ring groove to where it sits, right like that. All right, next, your water filters. You can choose kind of any water filters that you want as long as they step down. So like if this was the most coarse and this was the most fine, we just wanted to go coarse, medium, fine. And that's what we're going to do is show you one other thing that I really liked about this is that there's places, there's places for labels. So we'll be able to label them so we know what they are with our little pocket label maker. And so we went with the uh, Clear Source Ultra system because they do fit universally, which is kind of nice. Last but not least, they have this thing. It's unique to them. I haven't done a ton of research. I just I saw what they did in their video and it convinced me that I wanted to get it, which is the virus filter. And hopefully this is going to get rid of that nasty smell that we've been having in ours. Um, doesn't matter if we change the filter monthly. Like we changed our filter last month and I'll show you here in a sec what it looks like. And there you have it. Three filter system set up, ready to go. Could just run the two hoses right now, just like this. But um, we're actually gonna wait because it's getting dark and I can't cut any wood. And we're just gonna set it up like this for tonight. And we'll keep recording. We're gonna show you how we permanently mount this tomorrow. All right, so I'm gonna show you the scary part about this because we've had this filter, like I said, for on here for about a month. The smell went away for a week and then it came back. So first things first, if you ever want to release pressure, by the way, an easy way is just leave everything open. I've turned the hose off at the actual spigot. And then we're just gonna switch it to power fill real quick. We lose all of our pressure. We're gonna switch this off, switch this off. And just the residual hose water now you're gonna be mind blown when you see this because this is this legitimately maybe a, like a month and a half but let's compare we're gonna take that off that is truly disgusting after a month <laughs> it is truly not the best water but 
and then what we're gonna do is we can just leave this we'll rinse this out real quick and then um, we're just gonna put this in blank because this is our new filter system and eventually we're gonna go in and eliminate this entirely First things first, we're just gonna turn it on like this and see how it does. I'll be right back. You see, that's why we wanted to flush it initially. See how it's black? I think we're gonna have to take these off and just dump them real quick, but. <clears throat> well, I messed up one thing. Don't do what I do. This one, my out. I just need the adapter that flips this because this end is what I need, and I need this end, the basically the male thread, to screw into there. <sighs> Going back to Home Depot. It happens. Didn't think about it. My fault. Okay, so we recorded um, putting together our water filter system, and none of the audio recorded. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk under there real quick. I'm going to talk you guys through what we did and show you how the finalized system looks in. And I'll throw in some blurbs or some video clips from where, for some reason, our audio didn't record. But nothing, didn't do anything crazy, just didn't, just didn't record the audio, which is kind of frustrating. However, might make this a better video. So let's go. Okay, so... Uh, First thing you're gonna notice is that we actually cut uh, cut the pipe, the soft pecs, I guess, ran it back through and got rid of this whole system because we no longer need it and I'll show you why. So if we come in here, turn on the light. All right, so th these are the pipes that used to go through here. They're just been routed up, but let me back up. So. If you recall, when we had it hooked up outside, we had an, a hose adapter right here. And so what we ended up doing is we took that off and we got a reducer that went from three quarter to a half inch, then screwed in a PEX adapter. I'll throw in some clips right here. And then we did that on both sides. And the next thing we did is we measured out and we screwed this in we used a tape method uh i'll show you guys in the, the silent video how we did that real quick long story short put some tape across the tops of these three canisters when they were all put together poked holes where the screw holes were supposed to be and then just drilled straight down through the wood and had a good time well put the tape onto the wood and then just drilled straight through where those holes are should i say so the next thing that we did is we measured how much we thought we were going to need for room wise and you can see we got we got real almost perfect with how we wanted to do this but we did have the flexibility that if we had messed this up we could have scooched the whole system just the board that way um but once we got this up in here we did some dry fits put our pex clamps on just made some cuts 90 degree elbow 90 degree elbow all the way down I, I wanted it out of I didn't want to use this empty space because eventually we're gonna fix a lot of this and ran it right along the back side and then just where I cut the PEX pipe off of the uh, the original water filter housing we just ran it right there now couple of things I do want to explain 
when we went through this, we encountered, I'm not gonna say any zero issues, but we did have, we did have to do some planning. So like this side's pretty straightforward. We went straight out, straight down, straight over, straight down. But for the other side, we had to come straight out, down, over. And if I come around, we brought that PEX pipe up right next to this one, ran it over. It actually is kind of overlapped a little bit, which is fine. But, um, and then I was going to run it down to right here to where both connections were right here, but I had enough hose and I figured, why not? Let's just connect it and see how that goes. And then once we got everything dry fit in place, went, followed up and just went through and started doing all the PEX clamps, making sure everything was seated nice and tight. I actually found a couple of leaks back here as I was messing around. And so fixed all of those. And then uh, also we replaced our water pump because our water pump had burned up. If you're not sure on how easy or hard it is to replace a water pump, it's literally these two connections and they're actually just caught on each other but you're positive, you're negative and then screwing in the PEX pipes for your water pump system and now we have a water pump back again. We're also going to move this at some point, we're probably going to put it over here because the intent is to rebuild the wall to where it's a 90 degree down straight from here with a access door right here. And then at some point we're gonna move this guy and that'll be in a later a later video, but I'll show you guys that in the future. But that's where we're at right now. Um, it was much simpler than I originally thought. Like in all honesty, it's three canisters, a filter system, a board, and then some PEX, uh, some uh, copper parts that lead to a PEX, and then a bunch of PEX clamps and PEX pipe. If I hadn't been recording, probably could have done this in about an hour or so. And we are very happy. I will say that we are thrilled with the change in our water. Um, we don't get that funky smell anymore. The water's cleaner um, for... A grand total of 200 bucks, probably like 220 maybe, because I did have to go back and get some additional parts. You know, happens. If you ever start a project, you are guaranteed to go to a, a Home Depot or a Lowe's more than once. But uh, definitely worth the investment and definitely worth the time, especially to get back here and sanity check what you're working on. That's super important. And so I came back here every day for the last week or so and just checked for leaks. I have no leaks and we're rocking and rolling so if you have any questions please feel free to drop it in the comments and uh, if you're a subscriber thank you for your uh, for subscribing and thank you for hanging with us if this is your first video with us please hit the like button hit the subscribe button join us as we go on this RV adventure and you guys stay safe out there that's the most important thing stay safe